there's a brand new humanoid robot causing a stir. And no, it's not science fiction. It's real, it's fast, and it moves like a superhero in an action movie. With tech giants like Boston Dynamics and Tesla racing to build the future of robotics, the question is, who's leading the way? Let's break it all down and see what makes these robots different and what that might mean for all of us. Today, we're taking a closer look at two major players in the humanoid robot space, Boston Dynamics' new Electric Atlas and Tesla's Optimus. Both companies are pushing hard to develop robots that can work in the real world, not just in labs or YouTube videos. These bots aren't just experiments anymore. They're being designed to do real jobs in warehouses, factories, and maybe even our homes someday. Boston Dynamics recently introduced a completely redesigned version of their famous Atlas robot. This comes right after they retired the older version, now called the HD Atlas. And what's interesting is that this new Atlas runs entirely on electricity. No more hydraulic systems like the old one used. That's a big step forward. Tesla, on the other hand, has been developing its humanoid robot, Optimus, with a clear goal from day one, commercialization. They want this robot to work in Tesla factories, help with repetitive tasks, and maybe even go beyond that someday. So now the question is, how do these two robots compare? Let's start with what makes the new Atlas different. Boston Dynamics says this version is stronger, more agile, and more flexible than anything they've built before. And if you've seen the videos, you know that's not an exaggeration. The way it twists, spins, and moves almost looks like something out of a stunt show. It's got that wow factor, but that movement isn't just for show. The company seems to be aiming for more than just cool videos. They're preparing Atlas to do real work. They've mentioned they're working on new grippers, which will help the robot hold and move things more easily. And from the way the robot is designed, it looks like Boston Dynamics is getting serious about selling these robots for actual jobs. This is a pretty big shift from the original Atlas. That version became internet famous for doing flips, dancing, and even taking hits in obstacle courses. But it was mostly a research project. It helped the team test out how a robot could move and react to tough conditions. It wasn't really built to do warehouse jobs or help out at construction sites. It was more about seeing what was possible. Now compare that to Tesla's Optimus. From the beginning, Elon Musk has been clear that Optimus is being built for real-world use. Tesla showed it doing stretches, walking, and even handling some light tasks. Unlike Boston Dynamics, Tesla's goal has always been to create a robot that could eventually work side-by-side -side with people. Whether it's lifting parts or sorting boxes, Tesla wants Optimus to help out where work is boring or too risky. So both companies are now aiming towards something similar, robots that can do useful work, but they've taken very different paths to get there. Let's also talk about what these companies have already done in robotics. Tesla is new to the robot world. Optimus is their first humanoid robot, and it's still early in development. They've shown steady progress, but there's still a long way to go before we see large-scale use. Boston Dynamics, however, has been in the game for a while. You might have heard of their robot dog called Spot. It's already out there, working in real environments. Spot is being used by police departments, construction crews, and energy companies to inspect sites and gather data. It's not science fiction, it's already happening. Another robot from Boston Dynamics is called Stretch. This one is built for warehouses. It can move big boxes and work on loading docks. It's not a humanoid robot, but it shows that the company knows how to build machines that do practical jobs. Now Boston Dynamics is trying to bring Atlas into this group. With spot handling inspection work, stretch moving boxes, and Atlas helping with more flexible tasks, they could cover a lot of ground in the warehouse and logistics industries. That's a smart move. Tesla and Boston Dynamics even use similar words to describe what their robots are for. Tesla says Optimus is made for jobs that are unsafe, repetitive, or boring. Boston Dynamics describes Atlas as designed for tasks that are dull, dirty, and dangerous. It's clear both companies are trying to frame their robots as helpers, not job takers. That idea, that robots will support people rather than replace them, is something you hear a lot in this space. The message is that robots aren't coming to take over your job, they're here to make the hard parts easier. Whether that turns out to be true is still up in the air. 
but that's the pitch they're going with for now. Here's something. Else to consider, Boston Dynamics hasn't released the full technical details about the new Atlas yet, so we don't know everything about what it can do, how strong it is, or how long it can operate. Those are important questions that we'll have to wait to get answered. Tesla has been a bit more open with Optimus, showing it doing actual tasks on the factory floor. But even there, we're still in the early stages. Both robots are impressive, but neither one is fully ready to take over a warehouse just yet. Still, it's exciting to watch how fast things are moving. Every time one of these companies releases a new video, it feels like we're seeing a glimpse of the future. Robots that walk like humans, pick things up, balance, and recover from slips. That used to be science fiction. Now it's becoming real. Some people feel uneasy about robots that look and move like us. Others are excited about the possibilities. And there's definitely debate about how they'll affect jobs in the long run. But one thing is clear. Companies like Tesla and Boston, dynamics are moving forward and they're not slowing down. In the past, we've seen Atlas doing parkour, dancing, and even running obstacle courses. Tesla's bot, meanwhile, was famously introduced by a person in a robot costume doing a dance, on stage. That got a lot of laughs, but it also set the tone. Tesla wants people to get comfortable with the idea of robots being part of everyday life, and with AI improving, it's only a matter of time before these machines get smarter too. Right now, they still rely on a lot of programming and human oversight. But as tech advances, we might see more robots making decisions on their own, learning new tasks, and adapting to new environments. That's when things could really change. Still, we have to keep in mind the real-world challenges. Robots are expensive to build and maintain. They need software, sensors, batteries, and strong materials. And they have to be safe to operate around people. These aren't simple problems, and solving them takes time. But that's what makes this moment so important. The shift from research and cool demos to actual useful products is happening right now. Boston Dynamics is updating its robot to be electric and more commercial. Tesla is working hard to improve Optimus and get it ready for real tasks. Soon, we might see these robots working in warehouses, helping with deliveries, or even assisting people at home. And the companies that get it right could end up leading a whole new industry. So, Who's winning the race between Boston Dynamics and Tesla? At this point, it's too close to call. Boston Dynamics has more experience, and their robots have already been deployed in real-world settings. But Tesla has bold ambitions and a clear plan for getting Optimus into production. The important thing is that both companies are pushing each other to improve. That kind of competition is great for progress. We're seeing new designs, faster development, and more focus on building robots that actually do something useful. It's also raising bigger questions. How will these robots affect jobs? Will they be safe? Can they be trusted to work without? Constant supervision. We don't have all the answers yet, but we'll definitely be watching closely. Thanks for watching. If you're curious about how humanoid robots will shape our future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll be covering more updates on Atlas, Optimus, and everything in between. What do you think about these robots? Are they helpful? Or are they something we should be cautious about? Let us know in the comments. We read everyone.